Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from, well, from me. Uh, I'm going to read something from my first book. Uh, this is The Lost Country of Sight, published in 2008 uh, by Anhinga Press. It won the 2007 Philip Levine Prize in Poetry. Um, and uh, in many ways, like m like many first books, it simultaneously changed my life and changed nothing at all. Um, but I am eternally grateful for um, the honor and the privilege that it was to to win that prize and to um, to give readings at CSU uh, Fresno and to speak um, and read and share the poems in this book um, all over the place. And grateful that it's had um, as good a reception as it's had. Um, but I, uh, I have a many of these poems. Some people over years uh, get tired of their books, um, and uh, I still enjoy my poems in this book. So <laughs> I'm going to read them. Uh, today's poem is entitled Kundiman, um, which takes its inspiration uh, in two forms. One. Um, from the Asian American Literary um, Organization and Retreat, uh, Kundiman, uh, which is headquartered out on the East Coast. Um, and back in the day, 2005, um, I was uh, I, I had the opportunity to attend um, and participate as a fellow in uh, one of their poetry retreats, and I went back 2005, 2006, and 2008. 2006, yeah, 2008. Um, Kundiman is, uh, takes its name from a type of Filipino uh, love song, um, which over time evolved into a, um, a vehicle or a means for expressing one's love for a homeland that was occupied or unavailable. It was a coded language as well as being a language of yearning, um, a song of yearning. And so the, the space of Kundiman as an organization, as a retreat, as a community, has always been centered on the idea of love and the difficulty expressing and how we express it through language um, and poetry and song. So um, back then, it, it took place at University of Virginia, so there's a reference to Virginia in here. Um, now it is uh, located in Fordham uh, University, um, so in New York, and um, and so there's a that's that's another shift that's happened in, in more recent years. Um, but uh, this this poem originated out of the last I woke up the last day of the retreat, and I'd been so profoundly changed by the experience, uh, which sounds very cliche, but it really was. I went there apprehensive about the idea of uh, participating and being involved with something um, Asian American because I struggled with that identi identity. I struggled to say this is where I was in terms of my work. I had a very siloed, a very um, restricted idea of what it meant to be Asian American or Asian Canadian. Um, especially in terms of writing, because all I'd seen were primarily anthologies and classes that dictated a rather narrow approach. And I found instead that everyone came with anxieties about that. Everyone wrote so vastly and tremendously differently that I felt this incredible permission to write whatever and however I wanted um, and still feel at home, still feel part of a community, still feel loved. Um, as a writer, and um, and that's a powerful feeling to have uh, that you're you're able to, to write and to be who you are. Um, and Kundiman basically gave me that, and uh, I am forever grateful for that. So um, that last morning of the first time I was there, I woke up early, and I had so many thoughts and feelings in my head, and this poem just kind of came to me, and I wrote it out, and I shared it with them. Uh, during our closing circle, as was our tradition, um, to, to share sort of our experiences. And it was a poem, and that's what it was. And it kind of became a thing <laughs> that um, I ended up reading it a lot, and it got read a lot in the years I wasn't there. And uh, I am grateful for that gift, and that it continues to live. So here it is, for all of you. 
and for anyone that's a writer looking for community. Kundiman. This morning, the sun not yet piercing the gray Virginia world, I wake already with longing for those I soon will leave, whose voices raw and importuning have peeled away my skin and laid open my chest with the finest of cuts. Here, in the space enclosed by the white bones of my ribs, a heart beats with the wonder of so many tongues. No, it moves like a ship on this dark ocean of home and departure, each of us rowing beat after beat, page after page, haunted by words. Speak again of salt, lovers lost, of the body muted, of our fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters, daughters, sons. You who knock at the wooden door of a guitar at midnight. You who let words carry your limbs and lips. You who rumble deep into sorrow or anger or unrequited joy. Tell me now, who will lift us when we are weary? Who will fill us with the dark beauty of song? What will we say tomorrow when we rise to take our next train, next bus, next taxi or plane, when we return to the cities we have loved or despised for so long? What will we say to the open door, to the room full of now? And uh, yeah, so that was Kundiman. And uh, I hope you find your own places uh, where you can find uh, that degree of acceptance and love um, for yourself as a writer and as a human being and be empowered um, to create that wherever you are in the world. Um, I think that's what we need. I think that's what we need, both the gift of language and the gift of hearing and healing. Um, that we can heal ourselves and we can heal others um, because those two things are entwined. Um, and I, I'm grateful for the gift of poetry and hope that you find that gift in your life as well. Um, if you've been if you've liked this poem, <laughs> if you've liked this poem and this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please feel free to share with others. And uh, please support uh, organizations like Kundiman and Canto Mundo and um, Cave Canem and so many other great organizations that, that help support communities of writers, writers of color, writers uh, who are queer, writers who are in different situations where they might be cut off. Um, and I think all of us are, are looking for those type of communities in different ways. And uh, I encourage you to research and support and um, and help others. Um, so, um, yeah, if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you uh, want to hear more, please subscribe and uh, check back often. There's new content every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And uh, until next time, be safe, be well, be good to each other, um, be kind, and be patient. And the world will get better um, as we do our part and speak up and lift up others that we come into contact with um so take care and be well and goodbye till next time